a lot of the, the bites that we will deal with are, are dogs that you're not familiar with. Uh, typically, they occur outside. A 10-year-old was sent to the hospital after being attacked by a pit bull in Douglas County, Minnesota earlier this week. So Valley News Live decided to investigate how often dog bites happen. Valley News Team's Ryan Laughlin has details on where they most often occur and what you can do to keep you and your family safe. In just over a week's time, the Grand Forks Police have responded to eight different animal bite calls. They say a majority of those are dogs. They do say that's a little bit more than they usually see, but they also say the majority of those bites happen here at the dog park. Lucky for Alou? I come here every day. <laughs> Savannah Ferguson takes her to the dog park often. I live in an apartment with her, so she needs to exercise. But she was surprised to hear that this park is where police say a vast majority of dog bites happen. They, do they really? That's crazy. Dog bites and behavior is something Officer Engstrom knows well. The youngest one we have, she's still very much puppy. He rides with Riot, his well-trained canine compadre. He says it's important to understand when a dog could potentially be dangerous. Uh, tail down or tail straight up. Uh, tail won't be wagging very much. Um, You'll, you'll typically see the hair on the back of their neck stand up a little bit if they're, if they're angry or, or getting aggressive. He says this time of year is the most common to get bitten by a dog. When we have dogs in a confined space or dogs meeting on the sidewalk as people are walking them, there's always that potential. Back at the dog park? A lot of nice dogs. <laughs> dog owners say a vast majority of pups and people are well behaved. Hi, VVs. From Grand Forks, Ryan Laughlin, Valley News Live. Police say they take dog bites seriously, but a vast majority of the bites they see are considered minor. The best way to protect yourself around an aggressive dog is to pull in your arms close to your body and then widen your stance. You should not try to startle dogs. Let them get comfortable with you before you try and pet them.